the James Webb Telescope has been sending us back images that have not failed to amaze the space-loving community time and time again. But it's been only a couple of months since the $1 billion observatory was fully set up. Even then, we've been getting some breathtaking views of our cosmos, like the images of the Carina Nebula, Stevens Quintet, and the South Ring Nebula. The web has now sent us back images, as incredible as they can be, that might seem like something we should worry about. Or do we? Before we dive into the whole fiasco, I would like to take a moment to very quickly give you a few basic facts about the James Webb Space Telescope for those who are unaware. The telescope is the most advanced observatory we currently have, an observatory that's cost over $10 billion to produce and is orbiting the Sun at around 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. The JWST is designed primarily to conduct infrared astronomy. As the largest optical telescope in space, its high infrared resolution and sensitivity allow it to view objects too early, distant, or faint for the Hubble Space Telescope. With this, we could expect a broad range of investigations across the fields of astronomy and cosmology, such as observation of the first stars and the formation of the first galaxies and detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets. The James Webb Space Telescope released its first full-color images and spectroscopic data on the 12th of July, 2022. The first image that was showcased in an elaborate presentation by the Webb's team is the most distant and precise that has been obtained of the deep universe in the infrared spectrum, according to NASA. It shows SMACS 0723, a region of the sky visible from the southern hemisphere where a large cluster of galaxies stands out 4.6 billion light years from Earth. The gravitational pull of this cluster warps space and time and works like a lens that magnifies the light from much more distant and dim galaxies behind it. The web image shows that the instrument can capture this phenomenon and pursue one of its main goals, to see further into the universe than any other telescope. To capture the light of the first stars born after the Big Bang, the explosion with which the universe was born 13.7 billion years ago. Apart from this, the JWST has also released breathtaking images that have never been captured with such precision of the Southern Ring Nebula, a huge cloud of expanding gas surrounds a dying star 2,000 light years from Earth. That's only visible from the Southern Hemisphere. WASP 96b, a giant planet somewhat larger than Jupiter that is 1,150 light years away. Stephen's Quintet, the first compact group of galaxies discovered in 1877 by the French astronomer Edouard Jean Marie Stéphane that's about 300 million light years away, and the Carina Nebula that's located 7,600 light years from Earth. It is the brightest known nebula and stars are being born and dying inside it. The selection of these first five objectives that were released as images in July had taken more than five years of study between the three space agencies responsible for the project. NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency. Klaus Pontapadan, one of the mission's scientific leaders, said, This set of images is intended to highlight the enormous capabilities of Webb's instruments and give an idea of what is to come. Surely these images start a wow to astronomers and the general public. The James Webb Telescope was launched last December and arrived at its destination in February. The process of deploying its mirror and its huge sun shield is the most complex ever carried out by NASA and its European and Canadian partners, who have participated in the development of several of the observatory's four instruments. Alright, since we got that out of the way, let's talk about these colliding galaxies. We already have a fair share of first images from the James Webb Telescope and then some, with the Webb periodically breaking records in clarity and accuracy. 
A set of such images was recently unveiled that showcase a galactic collision. Now, events of this proportion aren't really an unexpected or uncommon phenomenon. The James Webb Telescope, in fact, recently captured an image of the Cartwheel Galaxy, another galaxy made by a massive collision of two galaxies. This image, though, which captures IC1623 and VV114, is especially intriguing. Not only do the images look spectacular, the fact that there's no evidence of a black hole is what's even more interesting. Researchers over the years have figured out that most galaxies have an active, supermassive black hole at the center of them. If you weren't keeping up with the news, our own Milky Way does, and we've even captured an image of that black hole in recent months. When two galaxies collide, astronomers expect the black holes at the center of each galaxy to be especially active. That's because this kind of incident rips huge streams of material off each galaxy. So, the collision usually causes massive shock waves that pass through the colliding galaxies. But, when the researchers began analyzing the two galaxies smashing together, they found that neither appeared to have an active black hole. As we've mentioned before, colliding galaxies aren't really a rarity, but the lack of any signs pointing towards active supermassive black holes is what's really intriguing. Although the researchers can't confirm that just yet, they mentioned that the presence of the black holes may be harder to detect. They could be hidden within the mass of the galaxies smashing together. Additionally, it's possible they just aren't active for some reason. As we've come to understand, black holes often drain material from nearby stars. So, this collision seems like a perfect way for any black holes in the area to freely feed off the collision's resulting mess. However, there's still a lot we don't know about black holes in general, and the amount of colliding gases and materials in these two galaxies smashing together could simply be masking the presence of one. The pair of galaxies are about 275 million light-years away in the direction of the constellation Cetus. Vivian Yu at the University of California, Irvine, part of the team conducting this research, said in a statement, A merger brings dramatic changes to the galaxy's shape and content and pretty much everything, so we really have to understand this process to figure out how galaxies evolve. Lee Armas at the California Institute of Technology and his colleagues observed them with JWST as part of a campaign to spot four relatively nearby bright galaxy mergers and figure out how they work. He says, These mergers typically rile things up and cause these black holes to get a lot of gas, and then they're excited and things get interesting, but we don't see that here. It may be that we have to look a little harder, they don't always stand up and wave. A supermassive black hole or two may simply be unexpectedly inactive or hidden deep within the colliding galaxies. So, what do you think? Why do these galaxies not have black holes at their center? Are they really inactive or is there another reason? And what's next for the James Webb Telescope? Let us know in the comments below and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.